been one year since I had installed my Hellwig sway bar. I'll put a link in the description on the install video. All right, and where I purchased it and whatnot. All right, big truck crew cab, four by four. I got the little tires on right now. Man, these planes, I gotta not buy a house where like planes fly over. It's not, you know, I'm not really that close to the airport. It's not that bad, but sometimes, sometimes three or four flights or five will fly over. Anyway, back to the uh, main deal here. All right, on the little tires right now because uh, the individual tune in my truck is uh, hemi fever tuning and whatnot. All right, I said stop running it with the Gigantor tires on there. All right, so I got some 35s that usually rock as my daily drivers. Put these on when I go to the drag strip. You know, if you want to be fast, you got to do what you got to do. All right, yeah, I'm not looking to be the fastest in the world. This is not a truck to be a candidate for that. All right, but it is a good truck. It's a fun truck. We got school buses. Yee yee. Woo! All right, anyway, Hellwig Sway Bar. All right, so uh, it's still looking good after. All right, I've been, what, doing videos on this truck for four years now? Four years, guys. Four years. I believe that's the truth. If not, whoops. All right, but I think that's about it, about what I've been doing. About four years. I think I st that's about where I started. I think I bought that truck about now, about four years ago. All right, hot damn enough of that. Anyway, Hellwick Sway Bar. I just want you to check this out. All right, I don't know if I just said it or not, but you know, don't you don't have to run up, you know, and grab your credit card or debit card or whatever and, and buy a Sway Bar. All right, ninety percent of the time, it's really probably not ultra necessary. All right, so this isn't something where it's like, all right, jump up and buy it. You need it. All right, this is a personal choice. All right, where I'm at. Just want you to look at this right here to begin with. Big heavy truck, right? Just like I showed you. I think I'd rather have big heavy parts. You know what I mean? I know it's not a uh, it's not a big old diesel heavy truck. I get it, all right? But it's still heavy, all right? It's a big vehicle, all right? Regardless. Um, I wanted something that looked better than the stock sway bar to begin with. All right, so let's start there. All right, the next thing. Oh, you know what? Let me mention this too. The sway bar is uh, more for towing, but the performance guys have found that it uh, helps with the handling and whatnot. So that's a plus for me. I really don't tow that much. So that would mean that I could stick with this one. But since I like the performance and beefiness, that's why I bought it. All right, so to continue on, looks right. I wanted it to look good. Still looks good after a year. Let me get a close up on this. I've been off-roading and whatnot. You can go through the history of this YouTube channel. I did not take it easy on my pump and dumps in the desert. All right, I am kicking rocks and whatever and whatnot. And the truck does get chipped up. It does receive damage. All right, but I try to fix it up here and there when I got a chance. All right, it's just something. It's a hobby. I like doing it. I like it. All right, oh yeah, stop. I'm running stop. Don't let your dingle dangle dangle in the dirt. Oh yeah, baby, stock muffler and a dingle dangle. Yeah, so uh, I got it for the performance purposes and I mean, you guys can change the handling on it if you ever so decided to get one because you felt like you needed it. All right, you can change the settings and I have it on this back setting right here, but I totally suggest you just try each setting. It's, it's not that hard to change it. All you gotta do is undo the bolt, switch it, bolt it back up, all right, and then ride around for a week or two to see how you like that. Do the next one. Just kind of feel them all out before you go to pick one. Be like, you know what, I like number two. Or I like number three, or I like number one. You know, you never know. Or you might switch it up. I'm going off-roading, or I'm going drag racing, or I'm daily driving. Maybe, you know, me, I'm like set and done. I really don't want to unbolt. I guess I could put a quick disconnect on here. I was thinking about that. Quick disconnect, boom. You know, or when I really want to do some off-road and I can just straight disconnect it, right? Not even have it connected. Um, but anyway, yep, there, right there. I bought this sway bar for most performance. All right, uh, it was free shipping, I believe. You know, some dudes wanted me to change the bolts. I understand your suggestions, but they are still Phantasmo. 
I don't back into rocks and whatnot. And I do understand if I back in, you know, I get it. Maybe they're not the best, but they're not the worst. Holding good, holding good. All right. Yeah, got it from Mo's Performance. I'll leave a link in the description. I like shopping there. All right, personally, dude that owns a place, cool dude. Got some fast trucks. Got some fast trucks. That's an understatement. It's an understatement. And I'll review this one next. Oh, I like that. All right. Well, four by four we know is badass. Not, not much more I can say about that. You know, it's more of a personal deal. Alright, either you want it, you want it, you don't, you don't. But if you want to know if I think it's worth it, yeah, I think it's worth it. If it's something that your heart desires, you know, it is what it is. Yep, that's it right there. That's my one year review on my wig from Hell Sway Bar. Hot damn hell yeah. Y'all are badass. Y'all the best. Party dudes front sway bar. Look at that. Right in the video. We can't have that. We can't have it at all. No, 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 no. Maybe I'll do a review on that too. Yee yee. Is that better? Do we see spots? No spots. All right, no spots. All right, so uh, front sway bar. This is a four by four. I'm not sure if there's a front sway bar available or not for it, but uh, I was told it wasn't necessary because the front sway bar is beefy enough. And I was told this by guys that have tested it several times and said, hey, you know what, right now this one's beefy enough, save your money. All right, so I don't know about the two wheel drive though. All right, I think there is one available for that and maybe it does increase performance. I'm not sure you're gonna have to find somebody that did a review on that one. All right, hot damn hell yeah.